We're gonna try it again. This will be my fifth try down here in the past three years to try to get a big walleye and try to make an episode. Today's the day. That's what I keep telling myself. We are down at Park Point in Duluth, Minnesota, getting ready to go out into the harbor and chase some big walleyes or any walleyes really as far as I'm concerned. Any walleye I catch today will be my first Duluth Harbor walleye. That's the goal. I have a friend, Nathan, who's gonna join me today and hopefully with more lines down the water, we have better chance and there's always a chance at a sturgeon in these waters. So I'm excited, I'm excited. It's been about a month since I've been able to get out and fish. And so I'm just like, just ready to go. It's the middle of January. We're chasing hopefully big walleyes. This is the Ordinary Fisherman and it starts right now. And there's the exercise for the day. Whew, I think Nathan called me. He's, oh, here he is. He's still 10 minutes away walking, but he's walking out. Just in time to get the lines in the water after the work is done. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, man, that view never gets old. We made it to the spot, no guarantees. What I'm trying to target is funnel type areas and it's really hard to know how much the sand changes from underneath from year to year to the uh, maps that I have. So it's all kind of a stab in the dark, but the maps at least give you a place to start. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's everything behind me is a flat. You can see there's people already fishing out here and they're in the flat. Maybe the ones that are this way are you know, a little bit closer to the to the trench where the ore boats come through. And then where I'm at here is what looks to be, um, you know, a couple sandbars that create a funnel up here. And I'm kind of in that area. So I'm gonna pop a couple holes and just make sure we're kind of in that seven to 10 foot range. Nathan came finally to, to help with the really hard work, yeah. right? I'm sweating already. <laughs> You're sweating <laughs> from your walk. <laughs> no, this work. Oh, all the work, yeah, and the walk. 
All right, we're set. As you can see, we're setting up. We're gonna get a bobber in, jigging holes. I'm gonna experiment with some different kinds of lures today because the lures I've used in the past haven't worked. So I've never had problems graphing fish. I've only had problems getting them to bite. Mm. All right, I gotta quit talking to the camera and finish setting up so we can fish. How's it going? What do I do? Because it's foam, you can pinch this off. But you know, what, how do I put yep. it on? So you got that on? Do you have a knot on your? No, I don't. Oh, well, we need that's to get you I, Yeah, I, I never set that up. You've always, I think I've always used what? like your rod. Are we gonna do a little 101 here? You said it's not gonna be that deep. Okay, right? slip bobber 101. First, you need a slip knot. These slip knots come pre, pre ready, like this, pre ready. Right. No fillet will work. Okay, so slide that on your line through the tube. On the line, oh, it's just pretty, through the I tube. Yep, saying. it's pretty ready to go. And then what you're gonna do when you have it on the line is you're gonna slide the knot off the tube onto the line. Sweet, it makes sense. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Yep, and then pull those tag ends until it's tight on your line. And then if you wanna cut those tag ends back, you can. Okay. I usually cut them back to about a quarter inch. All right. That's so it. That's yep, it. That's it. Then you put your. That's it. Yep. That's it. You, I like to use these foam bobbers because they do really well in the ice. They got that nice slot on there. You can pull them off and on easy. So, so it goes on through that clip on the line, just like so. So now it's on the line, and then that slip bobber will stop it, at whatever depth you want to be. All right. And then you just put whatever jig on there with the minnow you want, and put it a foot or so off the bottom. That's another thing I've learned here is you kind of want to be tight to the bottom on this. We're about seven to eight feet of water and these fish are relating to the bottom and just searching for stuff mm -hmm. in this vast flat, which isn't always flat. It's, you know, it's sand and there's current and so it's got some rumbles in it and stuff, but they're out here roaming. Well, thanks Master Nate for the, your roaming. lesson this morning. Oh, you know, I, you know. This is a good mark. They all should be good marks. Nope. You see it? No, nope. not, not mine. You see mine? Yep. Come on. Jeez. Oh. Ah. So now we got one sniffing around. It's good. He's still there. He's looking at all of us. He can't make up his mind. He's doing this like he's turning around. And... Oh, it doesn't make me feel all that confident with the lure I've got down there. You got one? Alright. Oh. oh no. Here's our first bite of the night. If Bobber was all the way down. Holy. I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye -bye. Say goodbye. Eat bananas. Eat bananas. Bye. bye bye. I love you guys. I watched it go down. You did? Did it go down quick or did it no, go? No, it was a nice slow. Like he was munching on it. I, I let him take it. I let him take it. I let him take it. Yeah. And then I missed it. Doggone it. You know, Nate, I don't know. I graphed three fish while you were on the phone. Is that one up? There no, that's me. Oh, yeah. And my bobber went down. Maybe you need to get back on the phone. <laughs> Doggone it. My heart was pounding, still pounding. I was like, here it is. This is it. I'm gonna get my first fish. And I didn't get I didn't get the bite on, on camera. Let's 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 do this right. Let's do this right. It's not that very it's not very big. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? What the heck? What was that? You got me believing you had a fish. Uh, did you see it? No. <laughs> it bent down and everything. Did it? I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> was, you, I, you got me all excited. It was a moment of panic and... You had me believing, man. You had me believing. Legit. Come on, Eric. That, oh, that looks... Oh, is he gonna commit? Dude, it's like a switch was flipped. <laughs> Oh, no whoa, way. that was a big one. But the activity we've seen, now he's on my screen. 
activity we've seen in the past just like 15 minutes is night and day different than what yep. I'm like starting to get excited actually. My heart rate's going up and the excitement is getting palpable. So I call this a cardio workout. <laughs> Which I already got when I got everything out here. <laughs> <Okay. set up. laughs> You couldn't find the closest part or closest No, spot, no, this is where the fish were, right here. We had to walk out to here. <laughs> well, we've crashed. We, I mean, in accumulation of what we've seen now in the couple hours we've been out here, we've graphed a lot of fish. This is about what I remember graphing. But something has changed in these last marks that we've seen. They, they are more aggressive. Well, it's four o'clock. So yeah, maybe I mean, you were talking it's getting supper time. Yeah, maybe this hour and a half of, of last daylight is, is it. I'm optimistic with that much time left though. It's gonna happen. It's still gonna happen. Believe it. Believe. I believe. For the model marks we're seeing now, I'm surprised the bobber hasn't gone down yet. Here a bite? Come on. The question is, how long do you let him take it? That's the question to me. There he goes, 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 there he goes. That long. Yes. Yeah, the boy. Yes. Come on. Come on. It's not big. I don't care at this point. <laughs> oh, he's running a little bit. My heart is pounding so hard. I'm going to turn this on here. I'm going to die of a heart attack over a walleye that's 15 inches. Do you need some light? You can open that. Oh, oh, look at, oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Not a monster, but definitely a good first harbor walleye. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> that boy. Yes. I caught a harbor walleye. Oh, this is three years in the making and five trips in the making nice. for one stinking walleye. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to measure him, but I'm guessing that's a 16 to 17. That's that's, that's a very respectable walleye for your first one. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, be still my heart. Be still my heart. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Good yes, job. Yes. 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 Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> So happy. It's all worth I'm it. I'm like, how early. long do I wait? How long do I wait while he's got it? It's definitely got it. Oh, man. Come on now. Oh, my heart's still pounding. So you just let him take it for a while and then. I just let take it to the point where the bobber finally was going down out of sight. That's what I had decided. Okay, I gotta get my bobber back down. You gonna catch him? Oh, you gotta get a mark. Catch him. So excited. So excited. And I just can't hide it. Do, 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 do. And they're definitely active. They're definitely feeding. We've seen a lot of marks today. Progressively got more and more as the afternoon evening went on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, good. Well, good. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be big down here. What the heck is this? <laughs> that, what is that? Probably a, not even a Oh, yeah, this oh. isn't the keeper. He's got to go back. Yeah. The 15 inch minimum. Thanks for the fun. Number two. Number two. Hard to see in the dark. We're winding down. Lots of uh, marks, lots of bites, having lots of fun. This is a fulfillment of, I would say a lifelong pursuit, but it wasn't really a lifelong pursuit. <laughs> uh, recent ice fishing desire checklist that's added as I've grown in my ice fishing desires and skills the past decade or so, I would say. Coming down here and catching some fish. Now, now it's to come back and try to catch the big end. The big in fish that's what it is so we had fun it was a good afternoon slow until it got busy marked lots of fish come down here this is like 
some of the easiest fishing that you can do. We walked out a half mile, lots of people are only walking out a couple hundred yards, hundred yards, just getting to that first five, six foot mark. And I bet you anything, they're catching fish. We just went a little bit further beyond them today. And it paid off. Thanks for joining us, good stuff. I'm Nathaniel, he's Nathan, and this is The Ordinary Fisherman. God bless and tight lines. Tight lines. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna end the night this way. Come on. Yes, 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 yes we are. <laughs> Bonus fish! Bonus fish! Bonus fish! Let's back up. This is what I want to do it for. I'm going to do it for this here. Worth it. Sticking it out for another 30 minutes for one more harbor fish. Bonus! Come back, come back for more. Come back, watch more episodes. Keep trying, keep watching.